We introduce Vibe, video inference for human body pose and shape estimation. Given a video sequence of someone moving, our goal is to estimate the 3D pose and shape of the person. Most previous methods regress 3D shape and pose from a single image. Here we show how to significantly improve performance by exploiting video. The problem is challenging because there are very few real image sequences with ground truth 3D training annotations. As a result, these methods fail to produce accurate and kinematically plausible motions. We need additional information to solve the problem. We solve this problem by exploiting a large dataset of unpaired 3D human motions. The key idea is to train the neural network to produce 3D sequences that are indistinguishable from real human motions. To achieve this, we adopt an adversarial training approach. We call the resulting method VIBE, which stands for Video Inference for Human Body Pose and Shape Estimation. VIBE produces 3D body shapes and poses that are realistic and kinematically plausible. VIBE first extracts image features using a CNN and processes these features with a recurrent neural network to exploit the sequential nature of human motion. Then, a regressor predicts the parameters of the simple body model for the whole input sequence. We refer to this part of the model as the pose generator. The question is, how can we obtain realistic 3D human motions from our generator? To achieve this, we train a motion discriminator using a large-scale 3D motion capture dataset called a mass. The motion discriminator takes predicted pose sequences along with pose sequences sampled from a mass. The motion discriminator is trained to tell which sequence is real or fake. If the motion generator is able to fool the discriminator, then the predicted motion is realistic. Training both the generator and discriminator together results in a method that achieves state-of-the-art performance. The motion discriminator uses a stack of GRU layers to process poses sequentially. Then, a self-attention mechanism dynamically aggregates features and amplifies the contribution of important frames. During training, we use a mix of 2D and 3D datasets. For evaluation, we use the challenging 3D PW dataset because it contains in-the-wild sequences with reference 3D pose and shape data. We report the 3D distance between ground truth and predicted joints in millimeters. This chart shows the reconstruction errors of recent state-of-the-art methods on the 3D PW dataset. HMR and SPIN are frame-based methods, whereas temporal HMR and our VIBE method use video sequences. VIBE STAR uses the same datasets as others during training, while VIBE benefits from additional 3D PW training data. VIBE reduces reconstruction error relative to the state of the art by a significant margin. VIBE outperforms both video and frame based methods. We qualitatively compare VIBE with temporal HMR. Temporal HMR represents the recent state of the art in video based human pose estimation. Compared to temporal HMR, VIBE captures pose and shape more accurately. Temporal HMR usually oversmooths the pose predictions while sacrificing accuracy. On the other hand, VIBE predictions align significantly better with the human body. VIBE fails in the cases of heavy occlusion, fast motion, and multi-person occlusion.
Here are more results of Vibe. In conclusion, we introduce a recurrent architecture that propagates information over time. To obtain realistic motions, we introduce discriminative training of motion sequences using the AMAS dataset. We introduce a self-attention mechanism in the motion discriminator so that it learns to focus on the important temporal structure of human motion. Vibe produces 3D body shapes and poses that are realistic and kinematically plausible. Vibe achieves state-of-the-art results on challenging datasets. Thanks for watching.